Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Speedy Guidi. This series is going to be called The Speaky Guidi in which I talk to you guys about my opinions and other really interesting things that are going on in this car world. This is my first time doing this, so screw it, let's just dive in, man. Woo! The topic of today's video is my dream garage. I have built up quite the reputation amongst my friends and family for being kind of a huge car nerd. And there's one question above all that I hate being asked. And that is, hey Lorenzo, well, what's your favorite car? Oh, you like cars? Well, what's your favorite? If you're watching this, you probably dabble with cars, or you have a car, or you've seen a car before. So you know that it is quite literally impossible to choose your favorite car, your favorite car ever. I mean, come on, what kind of dingus question is that? Is that like an everyday car? Is it like a supercar? Do I have to pay for this car? Do I have a family in this fictitious world in which you speak? Do I have a wife? Because I think that you'd get really mad if you saw these cars that I was gonna choose and spending money on them. Do I have kids in this world? Do I have to drive it every day? Do I have to pay for the gas? Like what's going on? Do I have to pay for the insurance? I can't do that. All of these questions are going through my mind when answering this. And I assume same thing happens for you guys as well. And I thought that I'd make a video kind of illustrating my point. I mean, come on, mate. What kind of stupid and idiotic and stupid question is that? I mean, do you even know what a Gumpert Apollo is? Yeah, I didn't think so. So take a seat, tough guy. So this is a collection of my five favorite cars that I would have in my dream garage. Let's get this thing started. Number one, the Koenigsegg Agera R. This is the most kick ace car on the market today and is my personal favorite hypercar. I mean, it has 1,030 horsepower, 1,100 pound-feet of torque, a zero to 60 time of 2.9 seconds and an asking price above $2 million. I mean, this car is just a crazy, I can't even string sentences together when thinking about this car because it's just absurd. And you know what? I love it. I love this car so much. I love this car. I love this car so much and it'll always belong in my fictitious garage in which I will never ever own. Next, number two, the Ferrari F40, also known as the Ferrari F40. Since I have a modern hypercar in my fleet, it only makes sense that I choose an analog supercar to go with it. The F40 is my choice because it is simply amazing. Everybody knows it, you know it, I know it. I mean, look at this stolen footage from Chris Harris. Take that, Christopher. Maybe now you'll return some of my dang emails. Sorry, I got a little carried away there, too much coffee. It has a 2.9 liter V8 engine making 471 horsepower with a, that's right, manual transmission. Witness the litness. And number three, or maybe I should go, so German, sir, so yeah. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo S. Well, I had to choose an SUV so I could, you know, hit the slopes every once in a while when I wanted to. Now this was a tough decision because it was either between this, the BMW X5M, or the Bentley Bentayga. But you know what, I just, you know, man, I just really like interiors of Porsches. They're just nice and I like the way it looks. It's just like kind of cool. I don't really have a good reason behind it. It's my dream garage, lay off. I would have chosen a Lamborghini Urus, but that's not out yet, so whatever. But 570 horsepower from a 4.8 liter V8. That's a pretty, Pretty, pretty good. Number four, the Ferrari Speciale Aperta. Let's see, we have a hypercar, we have a classic car, we have an SUV, and now all we need is a supercar. The 458 Speciale is deemed one of the best supercars of the modern era. It has a 4.5 liter V8, get it, 458, which helps it get to zero to 60 in three and a half seconds flat. I've driven in a Speciale, it is, Chucking amazing, mate. Well, I want one. 
And that's that. Number five, the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio. This would be my everyday car, or as the millennials say, my everyday whip, bruh. It's a super sedan with 505 horsepower, rear wheel drive, drop dead gorgeous looks, and the cherry on top, it won Motor Trend's Car of the Year Award. And those guys aren't screwing around, man. Someone at Motor Trend, please give me a job. That'd be cool, okay, thanks. I drove this back at Pebble Beach during car week, and holy guacamole, this thing corners like a 488 GTB. I swear to God, I kid you not, I feel so bad that innocent lady who is on the test drive with me, because I swear to God, I made her shit her pants. I'm sorry, lady, whoever you are. Listen to this, this is how much I love this car. Once a week, I will go on to Alfa Romeo's website, to the configurator, and configure the same exact car every single week. Every single week, I will go on and configure a Tricolore Quadrifoglio with white rims, red brakes, black interior, every single time, just to look at it just to give myself the idea that I could buy one. It's like the, it's like the speedy greedy daily routine. I wake up, make my coffee, and then I go on the Alfa Romeo configurator for 20 minutes. That's just what I do once a week. That's, that's who I am. Anyways, that's my five cars that I would have in my dream garage. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear from you guys. What would be your five cars in your dream garage? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Comment below. But don't just comment, make sure to like, subscribe. Hell, even criticize me. Come on, bro, give me your best shot. I wanna hear it. I wanna hear the worst YouTube has to offer. Don't hold back. Uh, besides that, if you know anyone who owns a dealership who wants videos done about their cars, inventory, maybe some commercials, maybe a promo video, let me know because I'm your guy. Or if you know someone with a car who's willing to give it to me for the day so I could shoot a review, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Arrivederci.